everybody, today I'm going to be talking about my new pet tree frogs that I have got. They are white tree frogs and recently I got two of them. I'm going to explain how I ended up going about getting them and showing you what they live in and things like that. So let's get started. Before we start, I thought I'd just show you what I've got on hand. So I've got one of these uh, water dispenser things, not dispensers, but spray bottles. I've got a mealworm dish which is dirty, ignore that. I've got some calcium powder and just some empty trays because I'm going to try and breed the crickets myself. As you can see, they're living in an exoterra. I'm not sure what the size of this is because I didn't buy it, but this is what it looks like. And it's a really nice size for them and it will do them for when they're adults as well. For the substrate, they've got cocoa soil and sphagnum moss so that the humidity stays at the correct levels and then here they've got a big water dish then here as well they've got this i don't know what the hell you call this just some vine thing um which they can climb on and this connects to a corner hammock anyways as you can see across the hammock they've got this plant which is stuck to the glass and that just gives them some coverage on there they don't sit on there really i've never seen them on there yet but they are quite new still so I'm sure they'll go in there eventually and then coming across the top of the tank is this big wooden stick basically it just comes down here into the mud um, if you can see and I love this this is my favorite feature I think the whole tank looks amazing um, but I love this and like the bugs will like run across the top of here and stuff I've not seen the frogs on it yet but I'm sure they will do as well, <laughs> same with the hammock. Over here we've got the hygrometer and thermometer. It's on the cool side of the thermal gradient and they're just to help monitor the levels. And over on this side of the tank they have got the heat mat, as you can see. And this is all connected to the thermostat and things. Um, but this is where they like to sit the most. And obviously it's the heat mat they're supposed to sit on here to keep warm. They are nocturnal so they won't come out today but i've got a few clips to show you and then underneath there is where this plant is and this is where they are hiding for the background they've just got this foam i don't even know what this is just some little guy back there and i think it looks really cool and really adds to the green vine on top they've got this exoterra light um i don't know if you can see but they've got two lights to be honest, I'm not too sure what they're for. If they, I think it's like a bit of UV and a bit of heat. It's not really needed, but if it gets a bit cold in the winter, I can just turn it on and you know make sure it stays hot enough, basically. And then at the back, they've just got an, a UVB and night light, which again they need just to tell them when it's night time, basically. So down here, you can see the thermostat and all the plugs that it needs and this is for the top light basically my hands are so shaky sorry but here's the other guy he always sits behind my egg he's right there he's on the mad one he's not that big I'm just an idiot Sorry mate. So that's my white tree frog's habitat. I haven't came up with names for them yet. I don't know their genders either. Although one has started croaking already. So possibly male. There was originally four of them. And then there was another two. And now I've left with two. So you could probably figure what happened there. I'm not too sure why four of six died. But I've got two and these two are healthy. I've had these two for a while now. Um, maybe like three or four weeks even. <laughs> I got them on the 18th of March but my boyfriend actually got me this whole setup and these frogs for my birthday so he ordered them online and um, had them for a few weeks before I got them. Got, by the time I got it there was four and then only a couple of days later two had died so I'm not too sure why but hopefully these two are nice and healthy and we have kind of just put the others passing down to stress and being really young because they were literally so small and barely just frogs even. So that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed meeting the frogs and 
if you've got any name suggestions then please do let me know because I'd like to name them by this week hopefully um when I'm filming this this is the 7th of April if you was wondering so yes that's how long I've had them I'll see you in my next video hopefully bye